again um, big advantage of having to your swap enabled you have got a response time is better on YouTube um, what I'm interested in seeing is am I going to be able to get more or less and what I'm going to do is actually uh, back up here uh, I'm going to see if by changing my system settings to the Wi-Fi car pulling less uh, having the Wi-Fi car pull uh, transmit power drop it down to 20 because um, right now I'm floating around 800 milliampers so I'm going to edit my Wi-Fi car hmm. I'm going to edit this file as text and that's uh, I went to system etc uh, text editor oh maybe I should have used that one All right. I uh, went to system, etc. Uh, I think wireless. And what am I looking for? Looking for TX something or another. And this is a little harder to read because it's so small. Alright, there it is. Uh, this sucks. Lost my spot. Alright. So you see I can put a uh, pound sign. So that's what I'm going to do in front of TX Power right here. I'm going to put the pound sign uh, here. Nope. Wrong one. Screw this thing up completely. What's my damn? Oh, shit. Pound. Alright, by putting pound in there, now I should be able to uh, copy, select text. Text selected. Copy. Return. Long clicking to get these options. Uh, paste. And instead of 100, I'm gonna drop this down to 20. Um, when I tested it in the house, I had uh, minimum difference in. Uh, I didn't really get that much of a difference for overall uh, save. The same spot in the house, I could trans. I was able to use my Wi-Fi. Uh, let's go here. And right now, I'm still at the same amount. Uh, so let's see. Pull this forward. And let's see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut down my Wi-Fi settings. I don't know if I have to reboot completely, but try because right now you see I'm pulling 840, still, still flowing between um, 775 and 825. So Wi-Fi turned off, and hopefully we'll see where how much it drops down with no Wi-Fi. And there gives it a baseline difference: 770 um, full Wi-Fi power, and let's see how it does. Just play around the screen a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, the old benchmark. Benchmarking obviously tags the CPU with uh, pulling some extra juice. Um, takes a long time. Don't turn it off. Good. So now we're going to run the benchmark. We're going to let the benchmark uh, push the CPU to its limits. And as you can see, there's not really a huge difference. I expected to see a little more, but that just tells you that the CPU really is not a not a factor on how much um, how much we're actually pulling in amperage. Uh, so right now we're 630, 625, um, and we're running a benchmark on the CPU itself, and it's 
not it hasn't broke 700 milliampers so uh, we can pretty much say at idle I mean at um, full load on the CPU uh, we're pulling 620 to 650 milliampers let's go 650 milliamps 6.5 uh, 0.65 amps, 0.65 amps, 628, and uh, running the full benchmark, which you know loads the system down on your home computer. That's I'm talking about amps, watts of power being drained from the system because of the CPU and your GPU. Uh, here we're not really noticing a difference at all. So letting that run. Um, see, I'm gonna label this one Econ Amp. And uh, load it on to and upload it to their um, database. Uh, their Econ scores aren't hard to find, just go to the last set of numbers, go back four or five pages, and um, you'll see the word Econ, and a couple of those are mine. Uh, because if you save on this one, it'll do anonymous, so you won't really get a good result. File system benchmarking. Uh, no, mm, don't know. I don't want to close. I want to be able to file. I want to save my system. Oh well. All right. That was the first time that's happened. Um, now I'm gonna stop moving things and see where it drops down to. Five hundred fifty-five. Okay, and. I have, I have one application that I know will allow me to uh, adjust my brightness so I'm going to open that application up magic album yeah there it is and uh, we'll see how magic album does uh, then we'll turn on the Wi-Fi and do the same thing there's magic album full brightness we'll let it settle huge difference I went from 560 milliampers being the low average of pull uh, down to 330 so 200 milliampers of uh, drain so if I can leave that there so basically that says hey if you drop down your brightness you can control um, overall uh, you'll be able to control your battery life, which uh, for any ebook reading device uh, would be a benefit. So, example, if you're interested in just reading on the Econ, because obviously it's a at the resolution of size, it would make a good book reader. So, here's my favorite FB reader. And we'll let FB reader run. Um, FB Reader, uh, you're going to have to to get the menu to pop up, you're going to have to use a mouse. Right click, because in here, there's no way to get the, mouse, the menu to pop up, you can't change anything. So, hit more, hit settings, and there's my famous, infamous, there's my menu. Um, I don't remember what it is. Show status bar. Type status bar. Read mode. I think that's does it. The bad thing about the mouse sometimes when you go, uh, nope, that didn't do it either. All right, settings. Nope, not that either. Back. Yeah, go to more, go to more settings, font, margin, style. All right, so obviously I missed it. The mouse clicking back without one sometimes uh, using this back menu will actually take you way further back than you want to go. So again, I believe I missed my uh, Correct setting directories, auto rotate, show status, prevent from sleeping, scroll to the right, flicker, 
volume, horizontal scrolling, animator scrolling. I want to scroll and show status bar, prevent, show the usual scroll bar. I'll see if that does it. Um, show as scroll bar. See if that works. Oh, for a little bit. You wait. There's night mode. So night mode on the LCD um, turns it all black, and you see my power difference, which isn't a difference. Uh, the LCD doesn't really consume uh, actually looks like it consumes more doesn't it so that's why you want to bring your brightness actually down which uh, if you've used one of these at night in bed or any dark situation it's too bright anyways as big as the display is so there is no power difference for running at night mode versus day um, if you actually want to study numbers actually it uses less power um, on full day mode so recommendation is uh, get a widget that lets you adjust your brightness. Um, I played with one, but now I don't remember what it is. What was a widget that I installed before that let me control my. Um, it was a widget that I installed before that let me control my brightness. Ooh, maybe it's called brightness. Hmm, that's an interesting widget name. Ooh, there it is. Alright, so let's keep an eye on my milliampere pulling device. Let's open up our widget. And for the finale, brightness set to 100. Brightness set to one fourth. So 380 to 400 milliamps, 380, 400, and that's at 26% brightness. Um, the camera is kind of deceptive; uh, it is it is noticeably darker. Um, let's say if I had to choose a level that I like. Uh, Wow, 78. I'm up to 500 milliampere, so it's about 110, 120 jump. All right, so that's my uh, fun with Egan. Okay, so running again still um, tagged out at 6.8 volts, 500 milliampers is your, we'll call it uh, normal speed, normal um, <coughs> 600, 550 milliampers would be idle and when you slap Wi-Fi on See, I just jumped up right there, and remember, this is Wi-Fi with uh, should be Wi-Fi with my transmit power set to 20. Uh, and let's see where if we can notice a difference, um, which means I have to turn this back up to 100. So we established that 100 was what we had before. Thank you. 